First of all, we started off with a little warm-up, uh, purely based on the fact that most of our movements in table tennis are, we don't run miles and miles, but we do move a great deal from side to side. So we started off by putting two markers about three metres apart. So, one over there, one over here, and just gently starting, we were just moving from side to side between the two markers. Now, lots of people find catching a football easy or catching a tennis ball easy, but just to appreciate that a table tennis ball is rather small, um, so actually just throwing it in the air, one hand to the same hand or one to the other, is not as easy as it looks. And if you look at the way I'm moving, I'm keeping my eye on the ball all the time. So, second part is keeping your eye on the ball. Um, if you have your legs apart, knees and shoulders similar distance, and I'm actually just throwing the ball in the air, can I do a clap in between? How you hold the bat. Most people put their finger sort of across that, otherwise it will get in the way of the ball. And just starting to, we call it keepy uppy, bounce the ball up and down. You can throw the ball on, or you can start with the ball on the bat, and we're just doing little keepy uppy. When I'm doing it, I have a sort of L shape on my arm. If I had it straight out in front of me, it's much harder. If I'm too close, it's quite difficult. So we're looking for an L shape on the arm. And if I'm doing it properly, the ball is not going that high. If it's certainly going past your nose, uh, then uh, it's going too high. Then you go on to the forehand side. Again, I've got an L shape with my arm and I'm just bouncing the ball up and down. Now to have a good sense of balance, notice I'm spreading my knees, my legs reasonably wide. I start with the ball on my back. Can I get down in onto one knee, into a kneeling position? Can I actually sit down? I'm keeping my eye on the ball all the time. From a standing position into a lying down position. So I'm gonna try that onto one knee, onto both knees, but instead of sitting down, I'm going to try and lay down without losing the ball. For next week, you will need some sort of bowl or dish, four tins of soup or baked beans, doesn't matter what's in them, that will also help because that will form part of the target game. So next week, four cans and a bowl. Um, look forward to seeing you next week and I shall say bye bye.